Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Let's go ahead and get into this message for you guys. Okay, um, if it's your first time here with us, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, all right? So you guys, during a pre-shuffle, the energy that kept coming out was Bob the Builder, all right? So this is somebody who wanna come back and repair something with you, with strength, repair, rebuild, determination, support, restoration, commitment, and renewal. Y'all got somebody who want to come in and like put in the work. They know that they're going to have to build something from the ground up. Like this is somebody who could have maybe tore, tore the connection down, tore the situation down, right? Or, you know, they just didn't put in no effort to build anything with you, to have anything with you in the past collective. But this is somebody who want to come in and rebuild what was broken, restore um what was lost or something like that. You know, put in the work with you guys. So... Tell me about this person here. Tell me about this Bob the Builder um, energy. Wow. Yeah. This person view you guys as the one that got away. They let you get away. I heard no. I let them get away. This person let you get away. It says, you're the one that got away. I'll look for you in the next life. Yeah. I feel like whoever this energy is, they had plenty of space and opportunity to put in the work with you guys, to show you that they mean business, to prove to you that, you know, it was you that they wanted, that they wanted to have something with you guys, you know, um, to build something firm with you guys. They chose not to, though. This person chose not to for whatever reason, collective. But here they are. Feeling like you're the one that got away or maybe you're getting away, okay? And this is somebody who don't want to miss out on this opportunity with you. I feel like this person could have had some type of an epiphany, pif, uh, crap, epiphany, something happened. This person's throat chakra could be kind of clogged up because I dead ass stumbled over the word epiphany. So this person had some type of wake up call, something shifted. Tell me more about this person here. Who want to come back and reveal something with the collective? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, see, in the past, it wasn't the right time. So when y'all was trying to establish something with this person last year, the year before that, maybe even the year before that, I don't know how long it's been since you guys was dealing with this person, you know, when you met them or when you tried to have something stable with them, it wasn't the right time. Yeah. All right. Why wasn't it the right time? Why wasn't it the right time? Thank you. Friend support. I've been seeking my friend's advice on our relationship. Maybe they let their friends, you know, kind of get in their head or they was running with the wrong crowd. Like, I feel like they could have got the wrong advice like one of their friends told them that you know connecting with you or committing to you might like maybe they shouldn't throw in their player card just yet to commit to you i'm hearing so soon or something like that so yeah that they let a hating a hating jealous friend steer them away from you that's what happened they got some type of support from a friend y'all and this friend definitely uh played this person out of their opportunity with you all right, but this person is now realizing what they lost. And this has been a burden on them for a long time. Whether they've told you this or not, some of y'all, they ain't even told y'all this. Y'all ain't been talking. This person was like very dismissive. So maybe you couldn't even talk to this person because every time y'all would link up, y'all would talk. This It was just be an argument because this person was trying to avoid um, you bringing up the truth. Like they didn't want to talk about, they want to talk about everything except what they did to you. But the whole time, deep down, you know, the loss of you has been weighing heavy on them. This has been really, really hard for this person. Yeah. Been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. Yeah, they, this person do have a lot going on. But I'm telling you, moved on. I'm letting you go so we can both. I'm letting you go now so we can both move on. So, yeah, you know, when this person decided to let you guys go. Whether they initiated the separation and you follow suit or, you know, you just got tired of this person playing games with you or not being, um, 
not making up their mind. Like something about this person just not giving you like a clear, a clear cut, you know, we together. It's just me and you. We are exclusive. You know, so y'all could have moved on. You could have been the one in this energy letting this person go so that both of y'all could just finally move on, move on. But whoever um, was the one that initiated this collective, it's been a burden on them. So like, even if this person initiated it, let's just say they've been um, half stepping, right? They've been ignoring you. They've been putting you in a position where you didn't feel loved. You didn't feel heard. You didn't feel appreciated collective, you know? You got tired of waiting on this person. So finally you moved on. This person, it hurt them to watch you move on. But they genuinely, for whatever reason, thought that they were doing the right thing. Maybe they wanted to like, you know, this is somebody who's a, they were a follower. They were not a leader. So they let their friends dictate how they should move with you. So even though this person desperately wanted to like chase you or hold on to you or like tell you no, don't go, you know, they chose to just watch you guys walk away. Yeah. Look at this. This person has been out here dealing with rebounds. So to buy this person's time, they've been out here dealing with rebounds collective, hooking up with people just, I'm hearing like um, just sex, casual, one night stand. I just need someone to help me get over the pain of losing you. Yeah, they've been out here dealing with rebounds. That's what they've been doing. Hmm. Some of y'all know this though. Some of y'all know that this person been out here on this rebound type of vibe. Cut this light off on it. Okay. Tell me more. And I'm getting like, there's a friend that actually encouraged them to do this. Like, hey, you should talk to this person or let me hook you up with this person, you know, to take your mind off of, you know, the collective, you know, but no matter what this person did, who this person did, they still could not get their mind off of you. Yeah, this person could have even tried to like drink the pain away with escapism. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. Yeah, they're drinking, trying not to think about the fact that they they quite possibly let the love of their life get away. The only person that ever like really did love them for real, the one that they should have committed to, the one that they should have settled down with, you know, how they listen to their loser ass friends. You know, their friends ain't got nothing stable. Their friends ain't married. Probably ain't never been married. Ain't never been in a serious connection. Ain't never been in a real living situation. And if they did, they was dogs. Like, they was whores. Like, you know, you can't take advice from somebody who who ain't never had a, a, a connection with nobody that they actually took the situation serious and was faithful to that person. You can't take advice from them, you know? But listening to the wrong person, y'all... This person feel like they missed out on a divine connection. They missed out on their true love. Whether this was like a divine soulmate, a life partner, a twin flame, whatever this was. Yeah. For some of y'all, this person could have made you feel like you had to compete with other people. This person also feels like nobody compares to you guys. This is somebody who also was intimidated by you. You could get a lot of attention. Some of y'all just get a lot of attention, you know, and this person felt some type of way about this because you're so beautiful. You're so handsome. Like, you know, you could be like a social butterfly or something or, you know, so this person could just feel like they needed somebody that was more, you know, modest. This person felt like maybe you wasn't modest enough, which is weird. Like you can't help if you're beautiful. Like if you could be, if you are truly like this god goddess energy here just you can't help that you're beautiful i don't care you could put a sheet on and it still won't be enough to somebody that's insecure okay you could literally walk around with a sheet on and they'll still feel like oh you're not modest enough and to somebody who is insecure this is somebody who is insecure all right so this person here with you first i'm not making a move you know where to find me so even though they wanted to like communicate with you for real, they chose not to wait. Y'all, I tried to get rid of this glare. I can't do it. I can't get rid of this glare. So I'm just going to go ahead and like finish up this reading real fast. And like maybe next time I'll find a spot with like some better lighting. But 
All right, so with the you first energy, y'all, this person was stubborn. Okay, as bad as this person wanted to talk to you, as, as bad as this person wanted to be up in your arms, be in your energy again, this is somebody was like, I'm not calling them. They really wanted you to chase them. Yeah, this person wanted you to chase them. Look at this, reconciliation. But I heard this person can't take it no more. They're working up the courage to ask you out on a date. This person's going to ask you to meet up with them, drinks, dinner, let's talk. Like this person is going to, Finally put this pride to the side and they're going to reach out to you. Yeah, look at this fling energy. I've been sleeping around sometimes one night stands. Didn't I tell you this person was having one night stands, y'all? This person was out here having one night stands. Yeah, let me show you because this person was out here having one night stands, you know. Tell me more. But this person is like looking to reconcile with you guys. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, epiphany. Didn't I say this person had an epiphany? Y'all, listen. This person has had some type, of, some type of an epiphany here. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. They didn't realize maybe you leaving them was the catalyst. Like maybe this woke this person up for real. Maybe this was just what they needed with the waiting game. I've been slow to return, but maybe because... I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you would be waiting. See, this person just assumed that you would just wait on them forever. Like, this is why they drug their feet on returning because they felt like, you know, this person knew that you loved them. So they felt like they had time to play around, you know, see what's out there some more. And then if I guess if they can't find nothing better than you it's kind of giving it if they couldn't find nothing to top you then they then they were going to come back to you what the hell okay like what do that that don't even make sense if they can't find anything to top you then they were going to come back to you well apparently this person couldn't find nothing to top you guys collective they just could not replace you they can't replace you so here they come on their way back freedom i want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now see that <sighs> see back then this person wanted to be free they wanted to explore and see what was out there now y'all are in the total like the total opposite energy of them like you now you want to be free and see that's the problem this person is afraid that they took too long and that you now you you're seeing what's out there you're pursuing your happiness all right you're finding somebody better. You're dealing with somebody better. You're partying. You're enjoying yourself collectively. You don't want to be tied down. You don't want to be held down by this person here. And that's why they feel like they got to strategize. Because you might just be enjoying your freedom. All this freedom that they gave you. Now they want to yank you up out this freedom. It don't go like that. <laughs> yeah, this person is, is regretful. I regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I know now. This person regret leaving you out in the cold for so long. Yeah. I'm here. You gave this person what they wanted. They made you feel like they didn't want to be in a relationship with you. They didn't want to, you know, nothing serious. So you finally gave up and you gave this person what they wanted. But to truth be told, this that's not even what they wanted for real. They just was listening to their to their friends. They're miserable ass friends. And the whole time, this person has been keeping their love for you a secret. Okay? They didn't want their friends to know that they was really in love with you. It says secret love. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's complicated to explain. It's too complicated to explain. So it's like this person was wearing a mask, a facade in front of a friends making their friends think that they over you that it, they all good that they made the right choice by letting you walk away the whole time this person is broken on the inside the whole time this person is devastated you, you let your friends have that much control over you that is so weak hmm. tell me more Thank you. Wow. Didn't I say this person could not replace you? 
Nobody compares to you. It says no one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. See, but it took you actually walking away and this person, I guess, seeing what's out there to realize that there's nothing out here better than you. It's not. I just saw undecided is in reverse. So this person has made up some type. They've made a decision now. I heard they're, they've made up their mind. I'm making moves in silence. I don't want anyone to ruin my plans. Yeah, because they don't want their friends to know that they have plans on coming back towards you because they don't want their friends to try to talk them out of it. They don't want their friends to judge them for real, you know? That's actually very sad. Look, undecided. When I saw it, it was in reverse. So, you know, in the past, this person was undecided. They were not sure if they wanted a relationship or not. But now, this person has made up their mind. But they feel like they have to move inside. Because they know, they realize that their friends are very jealous of them. Very, very jealous. Don't want don't want to see them happy. Yeah. Look at this. This person's not sleeping. This person spent a lot of late nights up thinking about you guys. Dreaming about you. This person can't get you off their mind. Yeah, look at that. I choose you. Told you. This person, they choose you. They are no longer undecided anymore. Okay? Maybe they're they're just pretending and put it on, putting on to their karmic friends, like, you know, they still undecided or they really don't want to deal with you guys collective. But honestly, you're this person's wish with the star card. You're this person's dream come true. They wish for you. They're trying to manifest you guys back. But they feel like they got to move silently. Y'all heard you can't let your left hand know what your right hand doing because this person's friends don't mean them no good. They do not want this person with you guys collective. And I honestly feel like that these friends are karmics, okay? And their their whole assignment was to keep this keep you and this person in separation. And friends, people's friends could be karmics too, collective. Thank you. Yeah. Conscious clarity, calmness, regaining composure, release of fear. Yeah. And the three of swords energy here. Rumors, gossip, betrayal, disloyalty, rejection. So I feel like that this was all revealed to this person about the, the, the true intentions of their friends. I just heard one of their friends want you for themselves for some of y'all. Like this person could have found out that one of their friends actually like, you know, like you, is attracted to you. And they, they view this as a betrayal because this person is just like, you told me not to commit to them. And, uh, you know, go do something else that it's not time for me to let, you know, streets go and that the collective wasn't worth that. But here you are, come to find out, you've been crushing on them the whole time. Bro, I'm telling you, they found out something about, they found out something about the real reason why this friend did not want them with you. They view this as a betrayal, like disloyalty. They view this friend as disloyal. Yeah, your person may need some time to like regain their composure or something after finding out this clarity, but this was heartbreaking to them. This was heartbreaking, collective. Hmm. Yeah, this person may have been experiencing depression, a lot of emotional pain. Yeah, this person had you out here in like love triangles and things like that, you know? They definitely betrayed you guys. They were very disloyal to you. But I feel like that's because they were listening to their friends. This person could not think for themselves. That's why they rejected you. They rejected you because they were told to reject you. Yeah, the Empress. Somebody told this person not to be passionate, not to be loving towards the Empress. To hold back from the Empress. And the whole time, this person wanted the Empress for themselves. Wow. Wow. What you get listening to other people. Yeah, this person act like they didn't show you no compassion. I heard lack of compassion. So when you were like expressing your hurt and your concerns to this person, they were kind of arrogant. They didn't really show you no type of compassion collective. Yeah. Hmm. Tell me more. This is some type of communication. Tell me about this communication here. Thank you. 
recovery, acceptance, and forgiveness. Yeah, this person is going to ask you for forgiveness. They're hoping that you will accept their apology and that you will forgive them. Maybe y'all could find peace or something like that. They're struggling to find peace. Yeah, this person is suffering in silence. They, But they themselves were surrounded by suffocating, nagging, materialistic, jealous, karmic friends. Who were dishonest and loyal to them. I'm sorry. Dishonest and disloyal to them. They betrayed this person. Whoever this friend is that told them not to deal with you. To turn their back on you. This, this was the ultimate betrayal. Especially since this friend wants you for themselves. Yo. Had this person out here. Well I ain't going to say it. Because they had themselves out here. Acting a fool collective. But they were, they were behaving as a karmic masculine with the emperor in reverse energy here. This karmic friend was coming out as the emperor in reverse too. They did this to control this person. Yeah. And see, this person was so stubborn. Like spirit told this person to like communicate with you, apologize with you guys. They were too stubborn to apologize. They just did not want you guys to feel like that, you know, you was right and they was wrong. So they ran away. They ran away. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Um. What is this person's next move towards the collective here? This person just, you know, they were inflexible. All right. They did not want to compromise with you guys in the past. They didn't. Listening to their friend. I just saw desperate. What is this person's next move towards the collective? Thank you. Missing you. Missing you. This person is missing you. I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. And this person tried to erase the memories. They're hoping that, that you have not completely erased, you know, your love for them. Like, you haven't completely erased them out of your life for real. I deleted everything that remind me of you. This person tried their best to forget you guys. Yeah, look at that. This could be you and this energy that you erased. You finally erased them pictures. You finally erased, you know, this person's number. Blocked them, deleted them. You know, with dying love, you're really trying to let this love just die off. And this person is over here missing you guys like crazy. But they, they will be experiencing some type of breaking point. Yeah, because right now they're overthinking. This person is driving themselves crazy. Thinking about how they're going to approach you. How they're going to approach you guys. What are you going to say? Are you going to be open to listening to them? Hearing them out. All right. But this person is being guided by their intuition. And all of this is going to take place in divine timing. So they themselves have to focus on divine timing. Because right now their hands could be tied up. You know. I feel trapped by my circumstances. There's nothing I could do. Something got this person tied up. What has this person tied up, Holy Spirit? What has this person tied up? New love. This person could have started something with somebody else. And they don't want to be there with this person. It says, forgive me, but I found a new love um, who makes me feel alive. But I'm not getting this energy. I feel like they were looking for somebody to make them feel alive again. So they started dealing with somebody else. Y'all, but the love that they have for you guys is still just, it's too much for this person to bear. They can't just get over you. Like it, there's no getting away from these feelings for you guys. This is what they're tied up with. A new love situation here. Somewhere that they, they, they don't want to be. They don't want to be with this person. I feel like people are gossiping about this. Somebody in this person's circle know that they're with somebody, but their heart is really somewhere else. Somebody know this. Somebody that is close. This person needs to stop trusting people that's close to them. They ain't learned. Okay, make them proven and commitment. This person know that they're going to have to prove themselves to you. When they come around, they know you're going to make them prove themselves. They're not crazy. Because, see, you've learned your lesson. You've learned your lesson, collective. Like, this person, I heard, fool me once, shame on, shame on, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You're not going to let this person fool you no more. They're going to have to come with receipts, for real. It's it's sad that they over here with somebody else and they don't even love this person. Don't even want to be with them. 
don't want to don't even see long term with this person at all all right give me some final um messages from this person to the collective who they want to marry is you and see this this taught this person a very valuable lesson too they have to follow their heart, listen to their own intuition, and not be fooled by others. If you only knew how much I love you, yeah, this person is in love with you. They are. But they're over there faking and pretending with somebody else. Because they feel like they have to for right now. Tell me more. It was more than just sex. So this person maybe made you feel like it was only sex and nothing more. But it, I promise you it was more than that. When I'm around you, can you energetically feel me? So this person be around you guys energetically. Maybe you see them in your dreams or you smell the scent of their perfume, their cologne or something like that. But this is this person around you guys energetically while you are focusing on self-love. You know, you loving on yourself, but this person view you as their destiny. Nobody can fulfill this person the way that you do. Not even this new love. This is just a placeholder for real. I mean, that's actually sad. Like they're wasting this new person's time. They don't want this person. They're actually trying to, they're thinking of a master plan. I heard an escape plan to escape this new situation. I never meant to hurt you. I know you are my person and we're supposed to be together. Yeah, they know this. But this person's trying to figure out it's kind of giving, if they knew without a shadow of a doubt that you would take them back and forgive them for everything that they did to you and you would be open to a clean slate, they would drop this new person where they stood. They would just walk the fuck away from this person and never say nothing to them again. And that's not the way you handle things. Like, see, this person could have did you that way, just walked away, ghosted you, didn't say nothing. And see, this is a lesson this person have to learn. You have to like tie up loose ends. You can't just leave doors open and walk away and be, you know, just ghost people. You can't do that because that actually accumulates karma. You get bad karma for that. You know, my pride and ego got the best of me. I'm healing. Yeah, this person needed to control this little pride and ego that they have because this also was making them miss out on a blessing too. Let me get some um, advice for you guys from Andromeda. Okay, you guys, make sure you check out my website, themissionshoponline.com. These are my cards as well. These are my official, unofficial Oracle deck. You guys can find these cards on there as well, along with my Andromeda deck as well. All right. Give me some advice from Andromeda to the collective. Seek connection, build meaningful relationships. Connecting with others on a deep level brings joy and a sense of community. This person really want to seek some type of connection with you. They want to get reconnected with you guys. You bring this person a level of joy that they can't find anywhere else. And trust me, they've tried. And this person is always left holding empty bags, collective. So yeah, this person is ready to seek connection with you. But I don't know. Some of y'all, you're not, you're not going to want to um, connect with this person. But it's not going to stop them from trying. Mindful communication. Speak with intention and listen with intention. Mindful communication fosters deep understanding in relationships. And this person knows that they're going to also have to be mindful of how they communicate with you. They're going to have to communicate with you instead of just holding their peace and hoping things fix itself. No. They're going to have to be mindful of how they communicate with you and be sure to communicate with you. They're going to have to speak with intentions with you guys right now. They're going to have to pay attention to every little detail now. They are. And love unconditionally. Love yourself and others without conditions. This kind of love fosters true connections and healing. So this person is learning the lesson of unconditional love. I feel like you always love this person unconditionally, but this is somebody who didn't love themselves. So they could not give you what they did not have. So walking away from this person actually helped this person realize um, that they do love you unconditionally. And this was the first time this person has ever, ever um, felt true unconditional love for somebody, anybody before, but they one had to love themselves first. So I feel like you guys, um, you're teaching this person how to love themselves because guess what? They're watching you love yourself. They're watching you walk away from them, even though you love them unconditionally, but you love yourself more. You are actually the, this person's first teacher like it was supposed to be their mom or their dad or something but for real y'all are actually the first person they've ever witnessed in human form love themselves unconditionally love anybody 
unconditionally outside of yourself and love yourself too. You, you loved yourself enough to walk away collective. All right. They ain't never witnessed nobody do nothing like that before. So actually, you know, you really, you're helping this person to evolve. You're preparing this person to be with you for a union, to be a better person, if nothing else. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Let me know in the comment section down below how it resonated.